Hey everybody, the Bonga is back. Welcome to part two of Let's Play Willow. Alright, I think it's high time we continue on through this forest and go rescue Poe. Who I suppose should be in the next area. So anybody that's uh, checking this out from the previous episode, thank you so much, I appreciate it. I am really enjoying this game, also I went to a whole loop. So that was obviously the wrong way. I did see a path that goes west, but maybe if I go here... Like farther to the right, I can work my way upward? At least the trees don't do much damage, because my max HP is 120. And I'm pretty sure I got hit twice and only took, like, 1 HP each. Oh wow, I managed to get away from that. How dare you. Okay, well that particular section sucked. Maybe I should just leave these guys alone. <laughs> Shouldn't bother to fight enemies that I'm pretty sure are- Whoa, why did that do way more? I don't think that was supposed to happen, but okay. A little... inconsistent, don't you think? I'm just saying. Okay, looks like we found the cliffs. That means we should be pretty close to the- Oh, god. It seems to fire, like, three shots at a time. And then I could just go in there for the kill. Oh wow, just running into its body doesn't even do as much as I thought. I should put the heal mace back on. I think that'll overall be a much better idea. So I can cast it three more times. Oh god, you again? Why are you back here? And they drop like 50 experience each, which is not bad. Because I'm like, less than 300 away from leveling up. Oh look, I already see a, a passage I can't reach. Oh well. Let's see what's in here. Better find some really good stuff. I could use some new upgrades already. <laughs> if I can find a dragon scale, that would be nice. Because then I can head back to do and maybe get some new equipment from them. I think that would do me a lot of favors. Although some level ups would definitely be way better. You have obtained the gold shield! Aw yeah! The name of a swordsman is written on the inside, but it is too old to read. Hey, and I get my health back. So maybe it was a waste to use that heal spell back then? Who knows? Ooh, my defense goes up by 10 with this! Ooh, that's a monumental improvement. Number go up, make things good. I am a simple man to please, as you can tell. Surprisingly, not a single enemy has been found. What's up this place being so barren? I know that I'm Ah! Uh, maybe I'm not supposed to go this way? Okay, it looks like that dude is always gonna be there. So maybe I should just go the other way. Okay, that's a good 30 experience of pop. This is 
these guys are pretty easy. <laughs> so let's try the other way. God, more bats. They're just... Ma just surrounding me. Not a fan of that. In the slightest. It's like when they turn big, I can easily handle them. But if my swing somehow misses, then it's a problem. Flame sword? Hello? What a sword! The whole sword is red with flames! Yeah, that's why it's called a flame sword. Flame swords are usually full of flames. Strength goes up by 10. Of course, it's gonna have a bit of a slow slash. But maybe the next level up will bump it up a bit more. Oh god. Gala Bros. Definitely not a fan of... Excuse me. That was a dead end. I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> I hope I can actually fight them. I seem to only hit the shield, though. Okay. It seems I can hit them only when their blade's already out. But then I risk getting myself hit. There we go. Oh, that was annoying. I'll have to deal with one damn skeleton. Just wouldn't give up the ghost. Oh great, now there's another one. Hey! Level the fuck up! That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, what's in here? You have the- There's a dragon scale inside the chest?! I thought I just had to get that from a dragon! It is a beautiful green scale. I'm sure it is. <laughs> and I'm just gonna leave with that- leave with it. Okay, so the next level up, oh, 6,230 experience. So I should just try to wait for them to attack, and then just stab them away from the shield. It's gonna be tricky to pull off, but that's the only way I can hurt them. Oh, jeez. Or maybe I could just ignore them and just walk, try to deke around. Unfortunately, that's all I have. Let's go over this way. Hopefully no more skeletons. I've been sick and tired of damn skeletons. You're back again! You thief! <coughs> I will never give you the crystal ball of life. <coughs> Although I can't fight. In fact, I can't even fly. I'll give you a bracelet that a thief left here. If you let me be. <coughs> hey, I got the thieves bracelet. Are you going to leave me alone? What a kind-hearted young man. Goodbye. Well, I guess I'm not gonna give those... those guys the, the ball. Wait, why is there red skeletons already? I don't think they appreciated me taking that bracelet. <laughs> Like, no, we wanted the bracelet. That's ours. Even though we just barely have wrists.
Alright, let's see what's over this way. Oh, this cave, I got more skeletons on a graveyard. <laughs> I'm a fan of that. I almost wish the wasps were back. Barely. And I definitely did not like the wasps. Oh god, this guy again? Okay, he's not much trouble. Now that I know how to handle him. Hey. Okay. Oh, thank you! Yes, my name is Poe! That forest of death gives me the creeps. Sometimes I just have to get out of there. Anyway, the senile old dragon back there, Matanda, got really huffy, waving his big tail around just because I played with the crystal ball a little bit. He damaged my prized feathers, but thanks to you, I have been saved. All right, the herbs. Hey, I know! I'll give you this ocarina which I picked up in the forest. An ocarina in the forest. Wow, if they only knew that this game would inspire another popular game. I wonder if, like, Ocarina of Time was ever inspired by Willow. Did the movie actually have an ocarina? Or maybe they were just inspired by the game. If you ever need me, just call me with this ocarina. Okay. Oh, you're just gonna stay here? Be my guest! <laughs> yeah, I'm ignoring you. <laughs> okay, I don't think there's much else to do. Maybe I should just head back. But I gotta figure out, like, uh, do I just go straight back to do? So I think the ocarina could help me out. Like, Poe can fly. I wonder if that's just a way to fast travel. So I'm definitely gonna, getting some Link to the Past vibes now. Like, the herbs will definitely allow Poe to fly again, because it'll heal him. So I'm thinking the ocarina, and you just play it outside, and then you just carry you? I mean, Willow is not a tall individual. So I think we can get away with that. Oh, Jesus H. Christ. Sick of these skeletons. And they just keep on coming. If I can just bait them to face the wrong way, like being at a diagonal, like they'll try to line themselves up with me, and I can still hit them on the side. Of course, it's a matter of positioning. Okay then, I think we're pretty close to the exit. Alright, let's go. I'm just gonna go through this exit right here, and then we're out. Simple as that. Oh! That just opened up now. Okay, this is new. Oh, this is like a new patch of land! What the hell? I can't move. Welcome to beautiful Lake Chief! I am the protector of this lake, the fairy Sherlindria. Take this cane with you. It's a legendary magic cane. Only those who are pure in heart may use it. During this coming adventure, you must put your all into using this cane to its utmost. When this cane reaches its true potential, 
It will be the beginning of the end for all wicked beings. I just hope you're very clear on what constitutes a wicked being. Now, Willow, go north. Finraziel, the messenger of Earth, is waiting for you. Willow, you are the only one who can save her. She was turned into an opossum by the evil magic of Queen Bavmorda. Now go! Go north! Okay. Well, I guess we're going to not go to do yet. Unless we really want to backtrack. Don't know if I'm interested in doing that anytime soon. Oh, it's this guy again. <laughs> Did I just get, like, the level 1 iteration of him? Because it just dropped way too fast. So I wonder where the next town is. I would like to find a town. If I can find a town, that would be amazing. The fireballs counted as an enemy. You have the devil eye. You have the light of life. Okay, there's no description for devil eye. Oh, I don't know what to say about this. I just go. Oh, it's a sword. Oh, it goes up to 105. Of course it's going to be very slow and swinging. My name is Mad Mardigan. I am a warrior of the Daikini clan. Please release me. There is a key to the handcuffs hidden in the forest. Please go find it. Okay. I have a devil eye sword, so I think you'll be alright, Val Kilmer. Whoa! What? It goes through them? Maybe I'm not supposed to use that sword yet. Because it has an insane amount of power, but what's the good of power if I can't hit my foes? It's probably going to be in the deepest part of the forest. I wouldn't be surprised. What the hell? Oh, they shoot fireballs. You have the key! Oh, of course, it wasn't the deepest part of the woods. It is old and quite rusty. That's okay. I only need to use it once. Alright, let me retrace my steps. That way I can rescue Val Kilmer just in time for him to be Batman. Actually, come to think of it, did Willow come out first or the Batman movie? I kind of forget, but actually now I don't even care. But I'm down for people telling me anyway, of course. Wait. Am I supposed to go up and then right? This must be the forest I went into. Okay, there it is. I nearly lost my way. Oh, fantastic! I'm in your debt. Here, take my necklace. Just my way of saying thanks. Okay, what does it do? It's made of poor quality glass. The name's Mad Martigan. Remember it. So long. Okay. And he just disappears. He doesn't even tell me what the necklace does. Look, you figure it out. Bye. Alright, so where the hell do I go next? Hello. Welcome! This is an oasis for all brave adventurers. This is the Tavern of the Traveler. Please relax and take it easy. I haven't seen you around here before. Are you planning on going to the cave over there? According to rumor, there is a ghost that protects a treasure. 
and kills anyone that goes near it. It is said that her lover went on a dangerous journey to find the treasure for her, and then mysteriously disappeared the night he returned. Oh, so she guards it forever, waiting for his return? Oh, you're back! What a tragic story. Hey Willow, thanks for helping me out of that jam. There I was, minding my own business when, all of a sudden, Sorsha came charging up and took me prisoner. Anyway, thanks. You know, you can't go any further without crossing the lake. About the only way you can do that is if you have a waka seed in your mouth so you can breathe water. Don't you mean breathe underwater? Why would I want to breathe water? That is how you drown. Ha! Huh. Of course, the only ones who have waka seeds are the mythical creatures of the Nail Clan. <coughs> Supposed to be white, small, sort of like a rabbit with antlers. I've never seen one. Probably just a legend. Um, we'll probably look for one later. But I think now's a good time to pop that ocarina. Wait, where is the ocarina? It's not in my inventory? But I was given an ocarina! Oh, it's magic! Okay... Hey, Poe. Thanks for picking me up. Oh, Willow! I'll take you anywhere you need to go. Okay, so I can go back to two. That's very convenient. I can also go to Poe's house. But I can also go to the bar. Okay, so I don't have to go through that cave again. Oh, thank goodness. Alright then. Hang on tight. So I'm gonna use this opportunity to go to do. Then I can cash in that dragon scale. This is as perfect a time as any to do it. I know it's been a while, but I got what you need. Please rest and take it easy. Oh, this is really a dragon scale! I will make you a magnificent sword and shield! You're gonna make all that from one dragon scale? You have the dragon sword. You have the dragon shield! And somehow this is probably not the best stuff in the game. My strength is 45 with this. Strength is now 55! And this goes from 30 to 40. Okay, so now we in business. Oh damn, using the ocarina is very expensive in MP. Okay, can you take me back to the bar, please? Okay, so what I need to do is I need to find a Waka Seed before I can go into that cave. Because the cave, of course, I believe is underwater. Okay, let me go rest so I can get all my MP back. Oh, do I have to go through all the dialogue from everyone? Oh, okay, that's kind of lame. And there's no way to skip even the big stuff. I guess it's alright if you forget what you need to do. Blah 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 also, how the hell were you taken prisoner if they just leave you out on the road? 
That's not really being a prisoner. Now, granted, you were probably in a cage, but at least put you in somewhere in a more private, secluded location. I think I have seen a creature like that before. So let me go back to the woods so I can find it. Still gonna be a long time before I can level up again. But I think we'll be okay. Bye. Let's see, I haven't- have not looked this way. really been this way? Why do a lot of the pads feel so samey? Ow. Ow! That was two hits right there? Already? Oh, there you are! So we meet again, Willow! See the Waka? I have it right here! I guess you don't get to see the Waka until you go to the bar after you rescued Matt, Matt Mardigan. Because how would you even know you need this? Okay then. So now that we have the item, we can go in the water. Let's stop here, and in the next episode, we're going in that cave. See everyone, thanks for watching.